Chile is one of the most vulnerable countries to climate change in the world. Proof of this is the recent flooding, droughts, and forest fires that are becoming more frequent every day. We know that not facing the consequences of climate change will have an impact on the country's most vulnerable population, on our ecosystems, and also our economy. Everything that has happened in this last year is just a taste of what could happen if we don't act now. It is clear that the different activities that we carry out daily are to blame for the climate change and that its consequences continue to grow. But do we really know what climate change is? Climate change is the increase of the Earth's temperature caused by our behavior through the use of fossil fuels such as oil, gasoline and coal, deforestation, and the waste we generate, among many other things. Daily activities such as the industrial production, home and building heating and cooling, power generation, agriculture, transportation, create greenhouse gases, which cause an increase in the temperature of the planet. 97 of every 100 world experts agree that we ourselves, all of us, are causing climate change. This is why it is essential to understand what is climate change and how is it affecting us. Since it is mainly through the greenhouse gas emissions that are part of our carbon footprint, go to mma.gob.cl slash quiero mejorar mi huella and find out about the tons that you emit and how you can reduce them. It is a fact that if we do not change our behavior, we will continue to suffer the consequences. But will these consequences really affect us in the short term? Have you noticed that it rains in places where it hadn't before? Or that it rains in other seasons of the year? The increase of the temperature of the Earth directly affects nature and consequently ourselves without exception. If we do not act now, the available fresh water, which is vital for human beings, will continue to diminish from the planet, affecting the ecosystems and species. And of course, it will also affect our health and all of society. Therefore, Chile, together with 194 other nations that make up the United Nations, met this year, 2015, in Paris within the framework of the COP21 to face together the major challenge of humanity in all its history, climate change. Each country presented its intended nationally determined contributions to climate change, and a great agreement was reached, taking on binding emissions reduction goals. In September this year, President Bachelet announced that Chile is committed to reducing its greenhouse gas emissions in 30% by 2030 through its own means and by 45% subject to international funding, so that globally the temperature does not increase by more than 2 degrees Celsius. We will do so by decarbonizing of our economy, promoting green growth through clean and renewable energy. It is without doubt an ambitious environmental commitment and appropriate for our country's development. To achieve our goal of reducing emissions, the principal measures are encourage NCREs, non-conventional renewable energies, as required by the energy policy, the law of energy efficiency, the introduction of 14 new air pollution attainment plans throughout Chile by 2018, the generation of green taxes on polluting emissions from power generation and automobiles, and reforestation of 100,000 hectares of native forests. But it's not just about mitigation. Adaptation is also necessary. And within the National Adaptation Plan to Climate Change, there is also the commitment to create nine sectoral plans in biodiversity, health, fishing, infrastructure, water resources, cities, agroforestry, energy, and tourism. In that way, facing the challenge in a decentralized way. Addressing climate change is not only the responsibility of the governments, but also a commitment that all the citizens of the world must make. How we live, consume, heat, and transport ourselves impacts the environment and therefore the main environmental challenge for this generation must be a collective effort. If we have changed the world, we must now change ourselves and adapt to it. 
Climate change needs you to change. There are daily actions that you can take that with small changes, we can achieve great things. Use water intelligently. Do not leave the hose running when you water your garden. Shut off the faucet while you brush your teeth. Collect water in a bucket to wash the car. Place a two liter bottle full of water in the toilet tank. Each time you flush, you will be using less water. Take care of nature and prolong everyone's lives. Plant your own garden with vegetables, medicinal plants, and herbs. If you live in a rural area, take advantage of it to grow your own products. Take care of the trees around your house, and if you can, plant one. Use sustainable transportation. If you live close to your place of work or study, travel by bicycle or walking. If you travel great distances, choose public transportation or share a car. When more people travel that way, your personal carbon footprint will be less. Prepare yourself for emergencies. Clean the gutters, the drains, repair the roofs and the structures of the house that can be damaged by rain or blow off in case of strong winds. Remember that rains today have no seasons, so that it is essential to be alert all year round. Always have a flashlight, batteries, and a basic first aid kit at hand for emergencies. Clean, disinfect, and air out your home every day. If you are in a rural area, beware of rodents. Do not accumulate garbage. This increases the possibility of disease. Try to recycle while it is possible for you. With our commitment to the climate agreement, we are clearly setting the kind of development that we want for Chile. Green growth, low in carbon, that promotes clean and renewable technologies and that finally enables our children to have a better life in the Chile of today and in the future. If I don't change, the climate changes.